Healthcare today is changing rapidly. We're starting to understand and appreciate that fragmented care isn't getting us the outcomes that we're hoping for for individuals as well as populations. And we need to address that. And so looking at new ways of delivering care more effectively and efficiently at the highest quality is critical in stemming these increases that go well beyond the rates of inflation. Never has there been a time that's better for transformational care than now. We have so much available to us, and yet costs are out of control, and outcomes are not what they should be. Quality measures are declining in many cases. We need to improve what we do and how we do it. So that's what we're doing. Transforming care, it's a huge word, transformation. It's not small incremental changes, following an evidence-based protocol, you know, changing something just a little bit. It means turning things upside down, really looking at it from the viewpoint of the patient, and really asking ourselves every step of the way that we do our process, is this the right way? And let's really transform, totally change the way we approach care for patients. We've always done a great job taking care of patients who are in front of us, that we're taking care of in our hospital or in our offices or through home care. But to me, transforming care involves taking care of them throughout every place that they touch OSF healthcare system, to thinking beyond how we're doing today with the patient in front of me, but improving the experience of care they have throughout our entire system, regardless of where they, they touch us. Transformational care allows us to design the delivery to accept the patient at whatever phase of care they're in and prepare them for the next phase, prepare the handoff. Accept the handoff and prepare to hand them off for the next phase. Help them reach the optimal outcome for them. Ask them what they need and what they want and make sure they're fully informed so we can help them along that path. Our key projects is decreasing readmissions into a hospital. We have a risk tool that we are using with every patient that's submitted to our hospitals that will help us determine what would put that patient at risk for coming back to the hospital once they're discharged so that we can do the right interventions while they're with us in the hospital setting. One of the most important aspects of care transformation is transitions of care where we make sure that what we do in the walls of the hospital translates to wherever a person goes to next, many times their own home, where used to be family members would do the care needed, and now it requires the skills of nurses and physicians and pharmacists and others that need to help with those transitions. OSF's expectation is that care will be improved through increased coordination across the board. And we will see that result in improved health in the communities that we serve, improved health for the individuals that we're working directly with, and quite frankly, both done at a lower cost, or at least a lower growth in the cost. One of the things we're focusing on in transforming care, in addition to care coordination, is improved quality. One of our big pushes is around preventive care, smoking cessation, um, addressing uh, obesity in people who need that addressed, immunization rates, preventive screenings for cancer. So one of the big pushes along with this initiative, in addition to care coordination, is improving individual health, which then collectively will improve the health of the community. When I look forward and see what OSF might look like five years, ten years from now, I certainly see an organization that is even better coordinated between its various operating areas. And it's also where we begin to look at patients, not as perhaps my patient, but really OSF's patient. And how do we as an organization find opportunities to improve the care that's delivered to that patient and improve their health? When we reach out and touch other lives with the love and compassion of God, our own lives in turn are touched with deep joy. And I think as we care for God's people, God takes good care of us. He promised, 
He always has, he does, and he surely will in the future. <laughs>